What is the best anime series for adults to watch? For those of you looking for anime that is a bit more mature, like Sinan anime, you've always known that anime is a medium that breaks down boundaries, then you are in the right place. Hello. Guys it's Animan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best top 10 adult anime which push things beyond the limit. Number 10, Yosuga no Sora. Haru and Soru are twin brother and sister who moved to a town where they once lived, due to the death of their parents. Almost every girl is in love with Haru, and the first six episodes are about him helping Kazuha and later Akira. Later it's about Sora's and No's rivalry as something happened in the past that Sora cannot forget about. Yosuga no Sora or In Solitude where we are least alone is a erotic romance and drama with a controversial subject matter incest. I want to warn you just now that this anime does contain sex scenes that could be described as as a soft core hentai. Tadaima. So decide for yourself if you want to see this anime. Number 9, Namazani. For normal people, getting stabbed to death would constitute the end of the road. For Rin, it's a mere inconvenience. Rin is immortal, a nice perk to have when you're a private detective constantly finding yourself in dangerous situations. Rin has eaten a thyme fruit, a fruit from the guardian tree Yggdrasil, which, when consumed by a woman, makes her unable to die. Rin's immortality doesn't stop others from trying to kill her, of course, over her long lifetime she has been shot at, cut up, maimed, tortured, and suffered countless other violent deaths. Namazani is a truly original anime. I have never seen anything like it ever before. Each episode takes place in a different time frame and jumps decades at a time from episode to episode. The story seems to be complicated at first, but once it ends, the whole picture seems to fall into focus. Number 8, Freezing. Fan service aside, this anime did a great job at adapting the manga material. Set in the near future, roughly 50 years from now, the world we know today has already been invaded by an alien race known as Nova. Normal military is powerless in the face of this new threat and thus the world can only rely on girls with special tissues implanted into their backs, called stigmata, to fight these unknown aliens. These girls, known to the outside world as Pandora, fight in pairs with the younger boy, in order to neutralize a special effect cast by the aliens called freezing which freezes anything within the cast radius. Now don't quickly jump to conclusion just yet. While this may sound like a military action genre to you, the story in actuality takes place in an academy where Pandora are being trained. Without a doubt, the story department is the weakest one of all as all the emphasis so far is placed on the character's interaction. Number 7, The Testament of Sister. Running into your new stepsister in the bathroom is not the best way to make a good first impression, so basically the story is Basara is moving into his new home with his newly adopted sisters Mio and Maria. Basara is told by his father to protect his sisters because they are now family. All seems well until all three siblings discover that none of them are who they appear to be. Basaru and his father are actually exiles from the hero clan and are natural born fighters whose mission is to stop and destroy evil demons. Meanwhile Mio is actually the daughter of the former demon lord, and Maria is a succubus who is protecting her. Basaru decides to keep his promise with his father and protect his sisters, which being that Mio is a demon lord's daughter, means that many other powerful demons are trying to get a hold of her. With the heroes observing his every move and the constant threat of hostile demons, Basara has to do the impossible to protect his new family members. 
Moreover, the protector himself is hiding his own dark secret that still haunts him to this day. This is the closest hentai anime that I've seen yet. That is A plus in my opinion although everyone seems to either hate or like this series. Number 6, Triage X. No one should be surprised when picking up Triage X because you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Especially if you've ever delved into the manga cause previous adaptation in High School of the Dead. Violence, clever camera angles, busty women, and action. While Triage X definitely manages to provide some of these aspects, it seriously lacks in others. The Mochizuki General Hospital has a dark secret within the inners of its workings. Dr. Masamuni leads a team of highly trained assassins that work to take out criminal threats throughout the metropolis under the guise that they are cutting tumors from society. Despite the show having a front of being all about action and babes, there is some sense of rhyme and reason to everything. Though that's not to say it's a genius one either. It's a tried and true formula of vigilantes that isn't breaking new grounds. Though I guess you can give some credit in the type of threat they deal with towards the end of the season. <laughs> Number 5, Elfen Light. From the first episode where, in a dreamlike atmosphere, we see a nude girl with an iron mask on her head escaping a high security facility and in the process, magically tearing apart a bunch of armed guards, to the very last episode, blood continues to flow, and nudity continues to be shown. This does not mean that the movie is distasteful, on the contrary, there is some kind of strange beauty associated with the violence which results in a mix of sadness and melancholy that stays with one long after watching the anime. Number 4, Scum's Wish. To the outside world, Hanabi and Mugi are the perfect couple. But in reality, they just share the same secret pain, they are both in love with other people they cannot be with. Mugi was tutored by Akane in middle school, and has been in love with her since then. Through a chance meeting in the hallway, he encounters Hanabi. As these two lonely souls spend more time together, they decide to use each other as a substitute for the one they truly love, sharing physical intimacy with one another in order to stave off their loneliness. Scum's Wish is one of the most beautiful anime romance series you'll ever have the chance to watch. Though short, it's extremely sweet, ironically enough, in all its bitterness. The tale of high schoolers who use each other as emotional crutches is gorgeously animated, told with a hint of cynicism, and cold to the point where you feel empty inside after viewing the first episode. But that steely realness is exactly what makes it so worth experiencing. Number 3, Goblin Slayer. Goblins are known for their ferocity, cunning, and rapid reproduction, but their reputation as the lowliest of monsters causes their threat to be overlooked. Raiding rural civilizations to kidnap females of other species for breeding, these vile creatures are free to continue their onslaught as adventurers turn a blind eye in favor of more rewarding assignments with larger bounties. First off I'll say this is not for everyone. This is not even for most people. If you are easily disturbed do not watch this show. This show is as realistic as a fantasy anime can be. Number 2, Prison School. This anime is anything but your typical coming-of-age high school story. The hilariously dirty anime series focuses on a group of young and perverse male students serving time for their raunchy deeds at a former all-girls high school academy. Their servitude under the beautiful yet cruel female supervisors ends up awakening a pleasure in masochism. What makes prison school truly perverse is its ridiculous sexual scenes. One example is when one of the female tormentors demand a male prisoner to pee right in front of her. When he does, she then proceeds to receive a little golden shower, if you get my drift. Number 1, Berserk. I have watched so many animes. 
but this one changed my entire attitude towards animation. Brilliantly written, insanely intriguing character development, and while some say the ending is too abrupt, I believe that it was one of the most powerful and poignant finishes to a series I've seen. Very few series actually leave the viewer wishing they could find a way to see the next season, and Berserk does so brilliantly. However, this is not for the faint of heart, I would definitely not advise this for children under 13, since it contains graphic everything. If you enjoy the video hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next time.